All right, getting now to voters decide. We are seven days out from the general election. More than 700,000 Nevadans have made their voices heard so far, and voters still have until Friday to cast a ballot early. Here's Jaden Urban with the story. Sometimes there's long lines, sometimes there's a lot of people coming in and, and dropping off their ballots, and we're just seeing a steady stream of people coming in to vote. Early voting has been off to the races here in the Silver State, and the Secretary of State is encouraging voters to hit the polls early to help ease the blow that will come on Election Day. The more that vote early, I think the better off it is for our local clerks to be able to keep up with the processing, to keep up with the demand. Here are the early voting numbers as of this morning from the Secretary of State's office. In total, there have been more than 700,000 in-person and mail-in ballots collected across the state. Of that, more than 280,000 Republicans have voted. Around 245,000 Democrats have also cast a ballot. And about 180,000 voters listed in other parties have voted. This makes up about 36% of eligible registered voters in Nevada. For those who have already turned in a ballot, your local county clerk's office may have to reach out to you if there is an error with your signature. There may be an issue where your signature doesn't match, in which case you will need to cure your ballot. And in that case, you'll get a notification from our office saying you need to come in and verify that you are who you say you are. And that can be done via text, via email. We have some security questions we may ask. Drysdale says that they have received calls from voters who are confused, but she says that's a good thing. The county wants voters to ask questions if they are unsure about things. And there's been one question they've gotten a few times. The most confusion, we get people asking, do I have to vote the entire ballot? Maybe I don't want to know or want to vote on this race, or maybe I don't know enough about this ballot question. You don't have to vote the entire ballot. You can vote for any or all of the races that you want to vote for. And the county adds, before you vote, make sure you look at the wait times at polling locations and which are closest to you. You can find that information on our News League section of our website. Just head to 2news.com.